on the last day if I will not see one pastor in the kingdom I will never be shocked if I did not see all those ministers all of you are following you you are bowing down to sir everything I'm doing on this earth is to make the kingdom not for fame Bless my altar. Give me long life. I, I don't forget the script. Hi, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. Welcome once again to yet another interesting video. Wow. Man, I'm beginning to love you guys a whole lot. I, I, I like it's not as if I don't love you people. Like I love you guys a whole lot before, but right now. I am impressed most times when I read the comments and many people are beginning to understand the conversations you have been trying to have here on the platform about things happening in church, okay? Um, today is, I'm going to be discussing something I believe is going to help us a whole lot, you know, really understand what is happening in the body of Christ, okay? I want, I want, I want us to, like, let me talk to you as a brother, as a see, if you notice, recently in my recent videos, if you have watched these videos, um... If you see pictures showing up here, there are videos I have made before, so you can find them by the pictures. You could just type, if you're watching me on Facebook, hashtag BRG analysis on YouTube, you can find these videos by their pictures because they are scattered different places. I have two channels actually, so that in case they take down one because I get attacks a whole lot, other ones can be functioning. So BRG analysis is my hashtag. You can find any of my videos here on the platform. Now, see, recently I've been asking you the question, did you give your life to Jesus or you gave your life to your church? The way you respond to conversations happening on social media about maybe your pastor, either in a good or a negative light, goes a long way to define where your allegiance is to. Which I am not against you giving your, or would I say, loving your man of God. No, I am not here to preach rebellion or would I say, preach hatred among believers or something. No. Love your pastor, love your man of God, but remember, at the center of it all is you that I see. At the center of it all, who are you supposed to see? The person of Jesus, if you are really a Christian. If you are not a Christian, it's okay, whatever, okay? Now, I want to ask you a question because I'm going to be playing for you a video. Now, this video right now, please, you can find it here on YouTube because I know how these people work. They can just decide to attack my channel anytime. So you can, what I'm saying here is a statement of fact, okay? Now, this video here by Rita Bai. Rita Bai was the one I made a video about before who was siding or what I say, speaking for Apostle Justin Suleiman. If you have not watched this video, it's going to help you understand a whole lot because I analyze the things he said about his friend or what I say, someone he respects. Apostle Justin Suleiman. Now, I see it myself as him trying to draw relevance from the attention Apostle Justin Suleiman's name have. Come on. Well, how many subscribers does his channel on YouTube have or maybe his viewership on Facebook used to have? Now, I, I noticed recently too that Prof X made a video about him in a good light. That is amazing for me. You have seen me here make videos about someone today in a good light. Tomorrow looks like as if I'm giving him in, making videos about him in a bad light, but I simply add volume to anything I see here that actually needs discussion. Is there a difference between you as a Christian and then your father in the Lord? Now, in this video, he was talking about, or what I say, giving advice to people who are global pastors. He even made a distinction by saying that there are pastors that are little, little, little pastors. So, if you are not a pastor, it's not for you. But I'm speaking to every pastor all over the globe not little little pastors but the global ones jesus said if your brother is crying you you that is strong should also mourn with him not to rejoice no a sincerity person is being fight by all If someone will celebrate you when he was alive, when you lost your child and commented about you and finally he died and you never comment, then what then are you teaching to your congregations? You are teaching them envy and wickedness. 
every true man of God, their ministry begin when they die. Uh, why they are alive, you can't believe them because of familiarity. But when they are no more there, and you have challenges on your neck, and you look for where to go, you did not see. You will now remember when he was alive. He could have been a helper to these incidents. I don't know which particular category he belongs to, whether he's a global pastor or he's a little pastor. So this was about 10 months ago, as at when um, I think he was saying this in reaction to the death of TB Joshua. So he was talking about the envy that happens in the body of Christ with regards to pastors and how they operate okay and how it looks like okay this one has the gift of prophecy or this one has grammar and all that from the picture you see right here on the video the thumbnail because thumbnails or pictures you see before you click to watch a video are supposed to give you some form of summary about what the video is about i know where i'm heading to with this so you can see the pictures right there so his channel is even trying to tell you that he's talking about the likes of um, Pastor Chris and the rest of them. So please, please understand. Come on, certain things would make logical sense. And note, when T.B. Joshua himself died, did Pastor Chris himself make a comment or maybe condolence or something about that? I guess that might have been the reason why this video was made the way it was made. So of course, I made videos about it that time when T.B. Joshua passed. Many people reacted, many people did not react, even I had to, you know, gaslight that it feels small in this video. All these videos are still here in case you didn't follow me at that time. What point am I trying to make? In a different video again, I saw him having a conversation with his members where he was talking about the secret of his wealth. Hold on. My madam is calling me. Hey. What's up? Good morning. Okay, uh, no, I'm actually on set now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> As I was saying, these things happen, eh? So when he was talking, he was trying to explain how he the he was trying to explain the secret of his wealth, and he was talking about the wife and how you know he got fifty million naira and listen. <laughs> Hey God, to tell you that this, had, I don't know where they learn these things from, but it might be true. It might be a true story. So I'm not saying that he's saying what he's saying is a false story. So he said in this video that, you know, he had 50 million naira, even when he, he was still constructing his church, the church was not well done. And then um, the wife told him that he should sow or that, he, that God told her or told them to sow that 50 million to a man of God. So they had to take the video, the 50 million to the man of God. Even he himself tried, you know, to be reluctant when they went to the bank to pay in the money. You understand? Um, um, he tried to make it look like a mistake in the account number and the wife showed her that, hey, don't make that mistake. You made mistake with the number. This is the correct number and they still paid in the money and all that. So he was just trying to talk about the secret of giving and how giving made him who he is today and how he's been able to buy land and buy land. That In fact, every day he buys land. But towards the end of the video, but towards the end of the video, this is what he said. Only one instruction turned me into a chance. Somebody will say, I'm not going to pay tithe. I'm not going to pay offering. My friend, keep it very well and holy very well. And be me. But don't disturb me, my friend. Because me and you, we they pray to God. Now God, now they answer me and you. I be human being like you, you be human being like me. Where do you be? Now Papa Chinedu. Me, I be Papa Adeze. I be man of God. You be man of the preacher. All of us now, man, man will be. I no be God of man. Nobody say God of man. We are all man of somebody. I am man of God. You are man of Ritabai. All of us will follow God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He takes instruction. To distinguish you from others. So I want to ask you a question. I'm not, I, I wasn't intending to make this video like too long or something. I want to ask you a question, my dear wonderful viewers. A man of God or a pastor or prophet Rita B is standing on his altar and saying that, you know, if you like, give your tithe, if you like, give your offering. He doesn't care that he himself is a man of God. And you 
are a man of him or his members are men of him and he is a man of God. Please, am I the one that posts these things on social media? Did I bring this thing from the moon? She been a so in talker. So if you watched my video of when he was addressing his members the way he was addressing them, of course, authoritatively out of sentiments when he was talking about Apostle Suleiman, you begin to understand the mindset the followers themselves have. Sometimes when I read the comments of people that are loyalists to particular men of God, I, 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 I know that how their, their transformation has been defined by how informed they have been by their fathers in the Lord. Look at him. So right now, those his followers are of him while he is of God. When Jesus himself died and that veil tore in the temple, ga 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 ga. So I want to ask you a question. Why is it that many pastors today is like they're stitching back those veils and putting themselves as the access? You grow through Jesus, but if I don't get to touch you and minister to you, you will not receive from God. You are teaching your people about the power of giving, the secret of giving, how giving in sowing into another person's ministry, 50 million, and how you gave your car to somebody that God spoke to you to give your car to and trek has made you who you are today. I don't know who you are that much, but you say you buy land every day. Last time you were talking about, you know, that you have hotel business. He has hotel business, according to him. I made a video about him here before. You could just check it out. So I'm just asking you a question. How would you feel? Or does your man of God stand on the altar and say, I am a man of God. You are a man of me. Think about that for a moment. Let, let that sink into your brain. Because when I keep asking you some questions, I know why I ask you those questions. Because if you don't get to ask yourself these questions yourself, you will not even know whether the Christianity you are practicing, if you are worshipping your Papa, instead of giving your devotion to the person of Jesus Christ. The choice is yours. Think and act wisely. I love you guys a whole lot. I hope to see you next time in my video. God bless you. Only to do me a shoe. What's up? What's up? Oh, Jenny, you're not to rob me, what's in my shoe? Oh, need to rob me a shoe. Oh, not woe. Oh, need to rob me a shoe. Oh, need to rob me a shoe. Oh, Jenny, you're not to rob me, what's in my shoe? Oh, need to rob me a shoe. Ah, oh, need to rob me a shoe. Oh, Jenny, you're not to do me. What's in my shoe? Oh, 